Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Give This Is Night 2. Give you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me, the Queen's Back. I need to do this video because it's so interesting the conversation keeps coming up with music. So since this is my platform, I'm really going to be turning things up a notch. Um, so I want people so just listen, hear me out. I am open to different opinions and perspectives because I'm hearing people out and I watch like how their opinions about music, where music is at right now in the current state of music. So I'm going to talk about whatever happened to hip hop. Now, I might ruffle some feathers, but whatever, you know what they say. It is what it is. I don't, I think right now, in my honest opinion, Hip hop isn't dead. It will never die. And for the past 20 years, I know, I would say 30 years, because I was born what, in 1992. I grew up with like hip hop music. I grew up with like the greats, the talented rappers. And I think what's happening and what has happened is it's a little bit of everything. Now, we got some real, really dope, talented hip hop artists that have like really emerged and really put the work in and really blossomed to be you know the greats of their generation the issue is I feel like the music industry and like I said you know when it comes to like real art real music back in the day the music industry really did care about music the message even with underground hip-hop artists they actually were the ones who reinvented the sound reinvented the sound the style the flow the delivery the wordplay everything now we got a lot of this mumble rap. Now in my honest opinion, music today in hip hop is trash. It is trash. Yes, I said it, okay? Because as I watch other people talk about how it's like the same old content, same old production, the same old, same old stuff. And yeah, but also I feel like for the talented like artists, the current ones, and for the future ones, what they need to do is like stay true to their art themselves and have their own independent record labels because really these record companies some of them not all of them but some of these record companies hip-hop is like a cash grab to them you know it sells it's the it's it's it's, it's to them it's like oh, okay well you know we'll sell the music and genre but when it comes to like black artists that I have put in the work and foundation and that's why I say I have so much respect I go hard for my talented black artists making good music and anyone else who's talented as well they make their good music they love the music they respect the culture people need to see talent people need to see diversity different walks in life and hip-hop is pretty much like I said it has touched a lot of people's souls different walks of life and and like I said when it comes to like how some of these rappers, it's like they do sound the same. They do sound the same. There's really no lyrical content where it's like, I feel like when you listen to a song, the production has to be right. The beat has to have a flow. You have to have a certain style that is you, that has your niche, and also stay consistent and practice and practice developing your artistry. And also, the number one, write your music. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. Some of these rappers, I'm just saying, and I'm not saying this to be mean, I'm not throwing shade, because I don't know, like I said, I know people that come from different, you know, educational backgrounds, and like I said, you don't know what people, what they struggle. My thing is, if you're an artist, and you're capable of writing, and expressing your art and your poetry, do it. If you're capable of writing bars, and practicing writing, like, sentences, like, just be creative with your wordplay with how you write your feelings because the more you do that and you get that equipment that skill set you'll be good to go you'll be good to go and you can really do a lot of wonders with your you know the freestyling and also making sure that you have your integrity when it comes to your artistry and and this is why I say this I hear when people say I'm so tired of the same old same old <laughs> And I'm 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 gonna laugh a little bit because for real it's it's sad it's redundant. Back in the day we had a whole bunch of talented 
dope hip hop artists from different walks of life. We had a lot of the real talent, the real greats, and I can name a list of the greats, but people know the list of the greats. But my thing is, it can happen again. Now, some hip hop artists, they have really refined the genre and they've saved the culture and they have really made it their own but they have always respected the ones that came before them and they said yo I can do it too because they knew they had the talent so that's a good thing so having confidence is the key don't let nobody bring you down don't let nobody dim your light also um, you know what you have to do too it's like you can't you know like I said I, I feel like even listening to today's music it is garbage because really the mumble rap I like some of it but I'm not a huge fan of it you know why I'm not a huge fan of it because some of these rappers they don't know how to rap it's not they can't rap because they can and like I said it's about knowing how to do it just perfect example if you're studying like a craft you have to learn how to do that craft you gotta have experience I don't think some of these rappers I don't really think they have experience at rapping I really don't I feel like they hear what they hear and they bite off each other they mimic one another there's not no it's not like they not they don't really have their own identity everybody sounds the same it's the same production it's the same beat they work with the same producer all the time which is not wrong working with the same producer but also I have to get on these some of these producers some because you got some of these producers they don't have a good music ear and they're just into like, oh, well, it's in the now. So this is the new sound. This is in the now. Okay, yes, we understand that. But when you listen to other artists and other influences in music, you know, and listen to different genres, as a music producer, you're supposed to study your craft, knowing how to mix, knowing how to uh, switch up the patterns, the um, instrumentations, the engineering. Because, like I said, I do stay on music too. Um, I'm not a producer myself. I would learn. I would love to learn how to produce and you know create songs because I'm an artist myself I'm into like that art and design I love to paint I love to draw you've seen my paintings y'all seen them so you see what I do so yeah um so it's like I study my work I study my craft I, I, I look at other artists that I love and I see like oh they did this alright cool and I say okay well I'm gonna put in what I have learned from them and credit and put in what I do and also at the same time I want to do set trends as well for myself because see really I don't really think right now music at this current state of hip-hop and rap it's, it's, it's really has gone downhill it's only a few handful of artists that actually can bring that genre back and and don't be afraid to to explore different sounds of your music you can be a hip-hop artist and tap into different sounds into your music and recreate a, a genre and recreate a sound where it's like oh this is your sound so you go for it and you excel in it and don't care what anybody says because really at the end of the day I'm here to see talent win and also I like that you know even in conversations with music my thing is for artists that are starting out, out in music that want to do well in music you want to make sure it's longevity if you want to have a successful music career you gotta have longevity you gotta have a small circle you gotta get with the right people you gotta protect yourself you gotta have a brand that you really believe in too because I feel like at this day and age it's like it's just too many yes men and, and like I said there are some talented hip-hop artists that do make I mean some of their music is good and some of their music is bad and some of them are in between and some of them they just it just the music is trash because I feel like some of the artists that are talented, it's like they have to develop a niche, a sound where it's like, alright, cool. Well, if I try this sound with my, my music, it's going to stick. It takes time. It takes effort. It's experiment. So I feel like some of them, they got some yes, man. And then they just put out any old thing because they think, oh, it's, it's going to slap because they just don't put any old thing out. Oh, because I'm songs so on a household name, it's just gonna slap. No, that's why I respect the musicians that I grew up with, because they knew what they were capable of, but they worked at their craft. They knew one day, okay, I know one of these days, I I, I see myself selling out shows. Okay, I see myself, you know, um, winning awards, which I will get that to a little bit later. Which you have dreams, you have goals. I see myself connecting with people. The main thing you want to do is connect with people. 
that's what you want to do and stay true to your art and your fan base and also don't ever 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 don't because like i said i know today's music is in the end now and i feel like sometimes i do sit back and when i listen to like the music now i just don't feel the soul i don't feel the art i don't feel like that ambition that drive that creativity because really like i said some of these rappers they sound the same and some of them can't really rap now I, I really and I know I did say they can't rap I, I, I know I did say earlier I said well it's not really about you can't really rap it's, it's, it's you don't know how to rap I really think it's you don't know how to rap because when you listen to like rappers like even the rappers that lyrically that really changed the game in hip hop you know you, 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 you can listen to a certain style they had a certain um you know the delivery the wordplay most of them did write their songs most of them have wrote the songs as a as a poet and most of them were poets too most of them are were in August some of them have passed on so rest in peace to the greats the legends but as time goes on they were able to really connect with the music from their personal experiences and also they was not afraid to set trends that's why I feel like sometimes you know it happens and I don't I don't want like I just don't feel that I, I have a strong feeling and this is my personal opinion some of these artists they're going to have to look at things in the long haul not just at the moment look 10 years down the road look 20 years down the road where you want to be in music you want to have longevity you don't want to just be hot at one moment and then next thing you know, you know, the music industry, they choose you up and spit you out because it happens, okay? But you got to make sure that you know what you're worth, what, what you're worthy as an artist. Um, and really, you know, for me, um, I, I just think that, like I said, hip hop will never die. I don't care what nobody says. It's just that, unfortunately, commercially, how hip hop and rap is commercially right now in mainstream is just more like that generic mumble rap. It's more like that mumble rap sound. You know, some of the rappers they don't really, they don't have no creativity. Um, they sound the same, talk about the same thing over and over twenty thousand times. You know, and then it gets tired, and then people gonna move on. They're gonna move on. You don't want to. You wanna tap into like different creative aspects in your music you know gins of producing gins of songwriting uh, and you know and gins of singing now listen you don't have to have like a perfect singing voice but if you can know how to like you know how to like work with like you know the melodic the melodic twang to it you're good you know you'll be able to give but some people they can sing some people they got that gift so what I'm saying is that you have to really look at the bigger picture because I don't really think that it's fair for especially especially for like you we like I said I have discovered some really good um, hip hop artists that they make good music they have flow they have bars they have execution wordplay delivery versatility in the production and the sound it's so organic so authentic it's very fresh you know they are so into the music and soul and it's like you know um i don't think that you know like i said and i know people say well we need to see a balance but see i feel like at, at the same time people aren't buying music as much which is not good in my honest opinion because back in the day man we had radio stations promoting music see now the entertainment news they just promote so much of that gossip and drama it takes away of the music and then you have some of these music channel platforms like okay BET and VH1 in my honest opinion those music platforms can be a lot better they're not really doing as much I mean they are promoting the music but it's a lot of that reality TV television um, we got a whole bunch of these like sitcoms and I really don't really like today's sitcoms as much I just there's just a lack of creativity it's just a lack of like it's like when I was coming up you had shows that had substance 
today's entertainment it doesn't have substance like it did years ago um, and I also think that substance is what's going to help artists really get into like their you know that you know authenticity that ambition that drive that confidence because you have to set yourself apart see and that's another key thing the hip-hop artists that I grew up with they set themselves apart they didn't want to sound like anyone else now like I said the influences I do see and I do hear the influences which is nothing wrong with that because we do get inspired by other people I get inspired by a whole bunch of artists but I want to make sure when people see Get the Sense Night 2's work they know it's Get the Sense Night 2 work and also like I said you know you know it's the what sets yourself apart what sets yourself apart from you know other people you know because in my honest opinion I feel like you know these record companies you know they'll just sign anybody anybody can make any record it could be a mumble rap record and it'll go number one which like I said I'm not hating the mumble rap um, I like it a little bit but it's too much and plus it's so toxic it's very degrading and I miss the days where there were so many different ways to talk about different subject matters and you didn't have to get too too explicit and it's not wrong with having you know your feelings it's not wrong with that but it got so much like saying the same oh okay perfect example they say whole too much these these rappers say whole too much in their music they say whole too much in their music it takes away and then it's messed up when you have good production when you have lyrical content there are other different words you can use to describe to get your point across you don't have to say ho 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 every 24 seconds every 24 minutes every freaking verse it's ho is and it really irritates me because I'm like I don't it's supposed to be a okay it's supposed to be like a turn up party song now some of the turn up party songs like the ratchet music I mean okay I get that but it's like you gotta have some kind of enigma about you. You gotta have like that grittiness. And it's not wrong to be raw and unfiltered, but it's how you go about it. You don't have to get so like it, it's the same like everybody is just doing the same thing. And then, perfect example, um, even with some of these rappers, I'm gonna get on the female rappers and the male rappers, cause really. And I'm not going to be biased. I'm not going to be like the double standards. But we need to see diversity. We need to switch it up with the production and the and the lyrical content. And also, we got to switch it up with making sure that... Because like I said, what you say and put in your music, people will listen to your music. And yes, music is subjective. And I also feel like, like I said, you can't blame on these artists because they have freedom of expression. It's also up to the parents to you know allow their children to listen to what they listen to because sometimes I feel like and I understand that when children grow up like they make their own decisions but that a lot of that mumble rap is garbage it is so toxic it's so degrading okay you need to listen to like music that have a message and also that party music which is cool too um, but there should be a balance Cause really, yeah, I, I was man, like I was, I was like, yeah, and I think it has gotten worse. It has gotten worse because when I listen to my favorite hip hop artists that I grew up with, I love the beat, I love the sound, and I love the delivery and content and wordplay. It's more of them out there. They just need to, like I said, they just gonna have to make the connections with the right people to get out there. And I understand, and like I said, and even with this music industry, now I'm talk about the music industry a little bit too, because I really think, unfortunately, it's more like that. It's it's too much of that click and that popularity thing, and then I mean it goes with territory. But it's like I, I really feel like people and artists should stay away from the music industry. I think I feel like it's going to get a little bit worse because it's like it, it's just it's kind of like 
when we have talented hip hop artists that do put in the work, that do sacrifice. And like I said, that's why most of these artists nowadays, they're making their own record labels. They have their own record labels. They have, you know, and they also, they're going to sign like, you know, more talented artists on, you know, their own record label, which I think is a great idea because you know what? It's like you have to have the right avenues to promote yourself, your business, your music, and also... I don't really I don't really like the fact that you know it just got too much of this like okay well you have to be a certain kind of artist to make it in the music industry and mainstream has gotten worse guys okay it has gotten a lot worse because when I grew up listening to the music that I grew up with like I'm 28 years old like oh like what 20 years ago when I was eight years well okay almost 20 years ago I really felt like I was on cloud nine I was listening to different artists with a message, a movement, you know, having fun, you know, and all that great stuff. And I think that that needs to go back. It needs to bring that back. Also, traditional hip-hop needs to be bring back to the forefront. But also, I feel like these underground independent hip-hop artists, what they can do, just tap into a different sound as well and merge it with the traditional hip-hop and create. What I mean by that, the producing be into producing your music learn how to be a record producer learn how to be a record engineer learn how to explore different sounds because really as as far as i'm concerned there are a whole bunch of dope producers that can really bring it in music no matter who they are they really have that creativity that flow that structure they're able to really it's like somebody that's navigating you in a good way and it's like you can vibe off each other um, and you can really make sure that okay this is really good you know and like I said you gotta be humble you gotta have like that okay thick skin too and don't let nobody push you over because I know there are some dope producers that can really save music you know they can really bring like that nostalgia that authentic in the music and make sure that the music speaks for itself and also um you know I think that you know hip-hop it has changed a lot I mean it has changed a lot and I think that what needs to happen is up to the fans um, the music lovers to buy the music because we have to buy the music if we don't buy the music what's gonna happen is we'll, we'll, we'll keep hearing the same thing and I know sometimes I don't want to be hearing all that mumble rap that's why I, I have my CD collection and I bought albums. I just listen to my stuff and bump my stuff and knock it out. Because I'm like, that's who I want to listen to. I don't want to listen to mumble rap 24-7. And also, the music has been oversaturated with that mumble rap 24-7. And I am definitely afraid that if things don't change within the next 5 years, 10 years, it's going to get a lot worse. Um, and, and I think also the, some of these record companies, you know, they do know what they be doing too because I, I have empathy for these artists like you want to make music that people can connect with you know and then these record labels you know they just sell artists you know and all this money all this investment you know so it's not really about the art anymore it's just about like what you can do like you can sell your music but it's like you gotta be a certain type of artist and able to really um, flourish in the music industry but I don't give a damn Whatever artist you are, no matter who you are, that talent, that ambition, that innovation, that's going to be your, that's going to be like, yo, you got this, this, this and, and like when you bring your A-game, stay consistent, keep putting out music, keep putting out EPs and mixtapes, stay consistent, connect with your fans, and also building your platform on social media, which is nothing wrong with that. Now, for my honest opinion, social media has gotten toxic. And I'm sick and tired of seeing all these toxic fans. Because let me tell you something, things are going to change. Things are going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. And I just stay away from all of this stuff. And yeah, I don't care if people don't like my faith. I don't be getting into my feelings like that. You know, unless you disrespect my faith. That's a different story. That's when I turn to a super saiyan. That's when I drag you for filth. But that's just a different story. But anyway. 
Um, so yeah, I just want you guys to know any hip hop uh, musicians that you love, any hip hop um, artists that you know of that you want to see, you know, get more exposure, um, that you do like see how it's like I love to promote music too. So let me know like what hip hop artists you want me to check out that I may not have ever heard of. Um, so yeah. So with that being said, guys, hey, hip hop is not dead. Um, it's just right now it's just lacking right now. And the mumble rap has taken over too 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 much. And we just need some fresh new faces to really, really save and redefine the genre and slave period for this generation and the next generation and the next generation. And just like in the Lion King, the circle of life. So with that being said, guys. Please let me know how you guys feel. What are your thoughts of today's hip hop music? Um, how do you guys feel about it? What are your favorite hip hop artists? And let me know down below. Um, so stay tuned. Next episode gets since night two. Like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. Share your thoughts and your opinions. Um, and stay tuned. Next episode gets since night two. Dragon Ball Z narrated reference. Peace. Bye bye, girls. As an out. The Super Saiyans out.